Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Have you ever built an application that works perfectly but when you are rotating the screen or you are installing the application on another screen size, the layout is completely destroyed? Be with me till the end of this video and I will show you a good solution for this problem. Here I have two versions of an application, the same application. In the first one, I have a profile screen on the top. I have the picture of the person and here the name, the email and the profile, the sorry, phone number. Then when I'm rotating the screen, you see that everything is destroyed. Some of the text are disappeared and here we have the profile picture and beside this left and right we have a lot of empty space and i have another version of this application here in the portrait mode everything is the same but when i'm rotating it i have a completely different layout for this landscape version the image is larger located in the left side of the screen and in the right side of the screen i have the other data the text and you can see everything is clearly visible so let's see what is the problem and what is the solution the problem is that the screen size is different and when we are setting one screen layout on this application uh, after changing the screen size the layout will be destroyed the solution is to have uh, a specific layout for each screen size let's go to the developers.android.com website and see some definitions there here we can see that we have three screen sizes regarding to the width of them the compact which is the small size and it's a normal phone the medium is a fold foldable phone or a small tablet and the expanded is a foldable phone in landscape version or a large tablet and uh, based on the height we have again the compact medium and uh, expanded let's say a small medium large this is a normal phone in landscape mode a phone in portrait mode a tablet and a tablet and based on the size per dp between 600 dps to 840 dps uh, it can be uh, changed and here based on the height between 480 and 900 dp it can be changed and you can see it here compact medium and expand between less than 600 is uh, the compact version between 600 to 840 is uh, medium size and larger than this is uh, the expanded and as you can see here the data about the height we are going to use these screen sizes and we are going to create two different layouts for portrait and for landscape and uh, we will set it based on the width of the screen let's go back to android studio to show you how to do this here in the main activity i've called this profile screen here i have a file inside this uh, profile screen this composable i've called uh, this uh, profile screen portrait uh, and uh, you saw the result when i was rotating the screen everything was destroying so here in the uh, profile screen portrait i have a column inside of it i have a box inside of the box there is image with this size and here i have another composable the personal data down below here 
inside of it there is a column two text and one spacer then i send this data to make those texts and here i have this profile screen landscape i didn't call it yet and uh, instead of the column the main column i have a row the box and the image only the image size is different and uh, another column for the text and again i use this uh, composable to set the data on those texts now here we need something to check the screen size and based on the screen size if it's a small set this layout if it's medium or expanded set this to do this we need to create uh, another file i have created this file it's here and i've called it window size uh, checker let's go to this uh, file and uh, write the code there. here we need some different things so let's start with a data class and i'm going to call it window size Here I need these two variables, width and height. But instead of this integer, I'm going to change the type of them to uh, window type. And in a short while, I'm going to create this window type. Okay. And here we need uh, enum class for this uh, window type. And as you can see the new version of android studio helps me a lot okay we need these three screen sizes a small medium and large and now uh, let's create a composable and yeah why not function remember window size and the callback is callback of it will be this data class window size now we have to define some cases here first of all we need this uh, configuration and we have to import it local configuration dot current and i'm going to use this to check the screen size so here uh return window size and inside it i'm going to use yeah exactly this the width when the configuration dot screen width in dp is less than 600 it will be the type will be a small when is a smaller than 840 is medium and else is large and let me close the bracket comma and the same for the height less than 480 is a small less than 900 is medium and else is large so so easy uh like this we can check the screen size and now let's go back to the profile screen to use it in the profile screen let me delete this and here we have to create a value for the window size equals to remember window size and this is the remember window size here okay now i'm going to check when uh, the window size dot width is window type dot 
a small so in this case set the uh, profile screen portrait layout for me and uh, as you can see this uh, ai the compiler let's say uh, suggests me to create medium and large and set different screen layouts for them we can make three uh, specific layout for each size but we can use it like this for the small one portrait and for medium and large landscape you can write it either like this or use only else and like this so when the screen type is a smile uh, we are using this layout when it's not a small we are using this layout and that's it it should work now let's check it here we have the portrait and here we have the landscape and that was whatever i wanted to tell you about this topic if you like it please give me a thumbs up if you are new in the channel please subscribe to the channel to support me and if you want to financially support me please hit the thanks button down below have a great time bye bye